Welcome back to a wet afternoon on the Central Coast as the league-leading Mariners play host to Perth Glory in match day 12 of the A-League. And while the Mariners are flying high, Perth won't be intimidated coming to Gosford, the where they've won four consecutive matches. Second season at Perth for Dane Ingham, joined the club in 2019, previously with Brisbane. Did score earlier this season in round six against Melbourne City. Been a mainstay of this side, started all eight matches, so so consistent at right fullback. Mariners push forward again. Simon slipping it in behind. Bowman cuts it back to Silva. And a rip to save from yeah. Liam Rennie initially. And then Arena scores against Perth Glory once again. He did all the hard work, Liam Rennie. He'll be absolutely gutted. Arena somehow squeezing it in. 1 0 Mariners. People waiting for the wheels to fall off. The Mariners bus are going to be waiting a while. This is a team playing great football. So Otto on one side and Ingham on the other are providing the width at the moment. But it doesn't always have to come from the wide areas. And we've seen a wonderful example of that in the last two months with Manchester City, and, and who have not got a, a massive side, but you've got also got the wider midfields coming into the areas that Armiento is in now and playing balls in behind. Okay, and the strikers have got to be ready for that. Well, that looked better for Perth, but now Ingham rolling out wide. Kill Kenny. That's the option in Ingham. Decides instead to go to Fornaroli, and there's the equaliser. Bruno Fornaroli with number seven for the season. And just when Perth needed a goal, their main marksman delivers. Ingham turning out, Kilkenny advancing the ball and taking the option with a great angle on this. He hits it beautifully. And the Mariners' defence breached. It's a great header from one of the great strikers in the A-League. El Tuna makes it one all. And important to note as well with that goal for Bruno Fornaroli, his biggest goal drought this season is just one match. Incredible. It's hard to get out there. Benny, geez, you're a hard man to please. Well, how else do you explain it, Harps? Here's uh, Arenya cutting it across. It's all relative, isn't it? For Zanuck. And now Bowman in behind, cutting it back towards Simon. Chance here for De Silva. Great save from Liam Reddy. Now for Zanuck. Bazanek off the post, Marinho, well done for Latchman. How have they not scored the Mariners? Everyone's beaten except the post. Great action in Gosford. What a fabulous first half we've witnessed here in the rain at Central Coast Stadium. Kilkenny, how good is he? Neil Kilkenny there in the midfield, picking off the ball, and Glory have a real chance to rush forward through D'Agostino. Runs past the ball. Great chance for Fauna Rowley, and he went for the trick shot. The Rabona. And he's fluffed it. Well, it was just superb from Keo to D'Agostino. I just love watching this. Look at Keo, head up, picks the moment and the angle just perfectly. You don't get a better through ball than that. Negro letting it run. That's the area of the pitch that was of most concern to the referees pre-match. That northwestern corner where the ball's just sitting there. And now D'Agostino! All power from Nick D'Agostino! And Perth Glory are in front on the road. And his four-match run without a goal is over. Stensness, Negro. They just haven't created one of those guilt-edged opportunities the Mariners lately. And that's credit to Purr. You can see Matt Hatch getting ready in the meantime. Clearsby looping it. Wall with the head up. Matt Simon is there for the penalty. Kurt Am says no. Well, here we go. It's a penalty. Five goals in his last six. Make it six in seven. Matty C 
Simon locks it all up. There's another A-League match coming up straight after this, but none here from the Central Coast in maybe seconds, potentially minutes time. For the first time this season, it's a stalemate for the Mariners and Glory. Full time, Central Coast Mariners 2, Perth Glory 2.